It all started back in January 2022. I was making YouTube videos consistently and I decided to make one on how to start making money on Fiverr because cash flow is king <laughs> and whatever you're trying to do in life, you gotta make sure you have consistent cash flow in order to succeed. You can't just live off on savings and expect your business venture to work out in a few weeks or months because you'll focus 100% of your time and energy. Sometimes it takes years to pull out any profit from that business and earn enough to cover your living expenses. We all know how hard it is to escape the rat race, but quitting your job and going all in into an idea to make an online or physical business is definitely not the way. We also know that being on a 9 to 5 job doesn't leave you with a whole lot of time to build a business on the side. So I think the best thing you can do is to start your transition slowly with something like Fiverr where you can sell your skills and earn enough to cover your expenses for a few hours of work and be super flexible. And when you get to the point when you start getting consistent orders every day and you're confident to make a living on Fiverr, you can then quit your full time job and maybe turn Fiverr into a full time job if you are earning much more than your physical job and you're happy with the money you make or you can expand your Fiverr income by outsourcing the orders you receive to someone who can do it for cheaper and you will be like an agency in this case or maybe just keep it like a part-time thing to cover your bills and use all your free time to build a business you actually want to build it's up to you what path you want to choose but this plan has one major flow Fiverr is too competitive already and it's super hard to get noticed I could have made a video telling you all this and then just say there are tons of videos here on YouTube where you can find tips and tricks to start getting some orders but I wanted to go a step further and watch those videos myself and implement everything I learned from them and see if I'm actually going to make any sales how long is going to take me to get my first order and if everything they say in these videos is legit or it doesn't make sense whatsoever so I created an account on Fiverr back in January and to be completely honest I did not expect to take me seven months to get my first order while I was learning about the platform and what I should and should not do I stumbled across many videos on these 7 day Fiverr challenges and many of them got a few orders in their first 7 days which is just insane to me and I had a hard time believing that this is true. Luckily I set my expectations for a much longer time frame like 1 or 2 months so I don't get disappointed too early but this time frame turned out to be not even close to what happened in reality. Unfortunately I can't show you how my gig was looking when I created it and isolate the exact analytics for the first 2 months but I have a screenshot from the 26th of January which is like 20 days after I created the gig and you can see that I got only 19 impressions and 0 clicks so at this point I knew it is gonna be tough and probably I won't make a sale within 60 days since I created the gig because I barely get any eyeballs to my gig but I've put quite a bit of effort to put everything together and I think my gig was above the average for a first time seller on Fiverr so I didn't change anything to make sure my results will be pretty much the same as what most of the people who wanna start selling services on Fiverr will get so I decided to wait for 2 months, analyze the stats and then make changes accordingly to improve my performance and eventually make a sale. So fast forward another month later, which is around 2 months since I created the gig and I don't have a screenshot to show you how my analytics were looking but I remember I got like 24 or 26 impressions only and of course still 0 clicks and I wanna point out that I was online for like 10 hours a day because I was working on my other stuff and I just kept the Fiverr tab on my browser open at all times so I was showing to Fiverr that I'm active and not just set up an account and disappear for 2 months and that's one of the tips I learned while watching other sellers videos on YouTube. So like I said, even though I took the time to set up my account and gig properly and I remember I spent like 2 days to do everything as good as possible from the account itself, the title of the gig, the description, you know SEO optimized. So I searched for different keywords and all that, the FAQ, pricing, put up a nice introduction video to represent my skills, design a good looking thumbnail and basically everything you can think of and I was staying online every day as well and still didn't manage to get a single click so I was a little bit frustrated that Fiverr didn't even give me a chance by pushing my gig to the front pages for like one day or so to get a few hundred impressions and determine whether my gig is worth being pushed to more people or I have a lot of things to improve because buyers are not interested of my gig so at that time I was really busy with my youtube channel and other stuff that I do and I didn't have time to dig deeper and find out where is the issue and what should I do to get better results so fast forward again to July this year when I actually found some time to really give my best to improve my performance and get my first order on Fiverr. So if you want to find success in whatever you do, you have to follow what successful people in this field do, right? So that's what I did. I got back on YouTube and watched as many videos from successful sellers on Fiverr as I can and took notes on everything I haven't done so far or I just haven't done it correctly. And trust me, I had to watch probably hours of content to find a few tips that are actually useful and will have an impact on my listing. As most of the videos talk about just very basic stuff, 
like how to write your description and titles, how to price your gigs, and so on and so forth, and also how important are reviews for your success on Fiverr. I mean, you basically tell me that if I have like 100 5 star reviews on my gig, I will probably rank on the first page and I will get a couple of orders every day and make a ton of money. Well, I already know that. Tell me how to get to those 100 reviews in the first place. I don't need tips to get orders when I already got hundreds of orders, you know? If I got to this point, I probably figured it out already. So the real pain is when you have zero orders and you're starting from scratch. And it was really hard for me to find any useful tips to get my first order on Fiverr. Apart from being told that basically reviews are kink. And that's the last thing I want to hear when I'm just starting out. But anyway, as I said, I found a few useful things to improve my ranking on Fiverr and eventually make my first sale. So I implemented them. And I remember I spent like a few days to put everything together because I really wanted to try hard and get that first order and learn from everything I've done so I can do this video afterward and tell you what I've done wrong and what exactly I fixed to improve my ranking and get noticed on Fiverr so you can have a much higher chance to set up a brand new account and get your first order on Fiverr in a month or less and actually create an opportunity for you and not just talk you some random BS how you can make this amount of money or that amount of money because those people are already making it and show you people who are five years on the platform. This just doesn't make sense to me. If it was that easy everybody would do it right? So like I said I've done many changes and major improvements to my account around the end of July and yeah I finally got my first order about one month after these changes. Finally! I mean it's been seven months. Seven long months. You know at some point I thought I might not make it. Like people are getting their first order within seven days or within a month and I was like six months in and I got only 26 impressions. No clear no one contacted me, nothing. I was like not existing on the platform. But I'm not the kind of person who is going to give up just like that. And you know what motivates me a lot? When I see someone who doesn't have even close to my skills or his geek looks terrible but still crushing it on Fiverr and I'm like, if he can do it, of course I can do it too. So I kept grinding until I find what was dragging me down. So now, please pay very close attention because I'm going to share with you a giant value bomb that will level up your game on Fiverr and get your first order within a month or so. As you already know this is first hand stuff and I didn't read them from somewhere from an article or whatever and just sharing what I read. This is what actually works and I tested myself. So here we go. The first thing I changed is the number of gigs I offer. Basically I started with only one gig as I wanted to provide service for video editing on YouTube because I was feeling more comfortable doing it as this is what I do every day for my channel. That was a huge mistake because I limited myself to only one pocket of audience and my chances to get an order were much much lower. On Fiverr you can offer 7 gigs at most when you are a normal seller and you are allowed to offer more when you are a top rated seller or a pro seller or I'm not sure to be honest. I just know that you can offer more than 7 gigs because I saw many sellers do. But in the beginning you'll be limited to 7 only. So what I suggest you do is maximize your chance for success by creating all 7. And what stopped me personally in the beginning do it was I was thinking to create a gig for wedding video editing but I didn't have any footage of wedding so I can edit a trailer or something and showcase it on my gig and make people purchase it. And I just thought that if I'm a buyer, I would like to see what the seller can do in terms of editing an actual wedding and I won't be triggered to buy his service if he shows something else. So because I didn't have any wedding footage, I thought it would be pointless to even spend the time to create an unoptimized gig. And that's basically how I end up with only one gig. But in July, I actually tried harder and what I did is, I went on a website called pexels.com which is basically a website for free stock footage and I simply searched for a wedding and I found the necessary footage. I edit the footage and set up the gig. That's how I basically did my travel and real estate gigs. And I have a dropshipping background so the rest of the gigs were easy for me to find ads to showcase. And I just uploaded the ads I've done in the past. So the key takeaway here is if you offer copywriting services or logo design or whatever it is, try your best to come up with 7 different gig ideas to offer on Fiverr. There is plenty of free materials you can use online. You just have to spend the time to search for them. This will basically boost your success rate by 7 times so it's definitely worth it. Another thing I changed is the keywords I was trying to rank for. Remember that when you're just getting started your SEO has to be spot on otherwise you're just going to have an uphill battle and you probably won't get any orders. So you can offer 20 different gigs and increase your chances 20 times but if your gigs are not SEO optimized you still ain't gonna make it. So to give you an example of that I will type in the search bar professional YouTube video editing and this is basically what I optimized my first gig for. As you can see from the screenshot, my title was I will do professional YouTube video editing within 24 hours. So the keywords were professional YouTube video editing and I put 24 hours to incentivize people to choose me over someone else.
details. So if I go back, you can see that there are more than 41,000 services available for this phrase. And this is a lot. When you create a brand new account on Fiverr, your main goal should be to find those low competition keywords so you can have a chance to rank in a good spot without any reviews and all that. And ideally, you should aim your keywords to have below 1,000 services available. And I can't stress this enough. This is probably the most important thing you want to focus on if you want to take Fiverr seriously. So between 1 and 2,000 services available is still okay, but if you want to see some good results as fast as possible, go with keywords that have less than 1,000 services available. And to give you an example of that, I'm gonna show you one hidden gem that I didn't find easy at all. But that's how you usually find the good things, right? When you're willing to spend the time that most people don't. So as you can see, this is a pretty specific long tail keyword and it's not broad like just video editing and that's it. That's YouTube video editing and it's even professional YouTube video editing. So when I created my gig originally, I couldn't come up with something more specific than that and even if I click on the search bar, you can see that Fiverr doesn't suggest me any other keywords that people are searching for. So whatever I decide to add on top of this basically won't make any difference because people are not searching for it or maybe just insignificant amount of people do. And because I wanted to provide a video editing service for typical YouTube videos and not for a gaming channel for example or anything like that, I end up with these keywords for my gig despite the insane amount of services available. I was hoping that Fiverr might give me a chance because I saw multiple gigs on the first page for this very competitive keyword with less than 10 reviews. And you also have the rising talent section where people usually have no reviews. And I thought this is an experiment after all. Let me try and see what's gonna happen so I will know if it works or not. But after 6 months it was pretty clear that this ain't gonna work and if I don't make any changes I will never get my first order on Fiverr. And that's how I stumbled across this hidden gem I told you about earlier. I was looking for hours to find different keywords, going through the categories, checking with the Fiverr suggestions from the search bar, looked what the competitors were trying to rank for and I found it. Basically the geek is the same. I just found different keywords for it and that is YouTube video editors. That's it. It's that simple. I couldn't believe as well, I'm not gonna lie. And that's because I spent so much time studying the YouTube algorithm and I still study it obviously, but I thought both algorithms are pretty much the same. And if I search on YouTube for Fiverr Challenge 7 day for example, you can see the results that come up and it shows 7 day challenges, but it also shows 30 day challenges. It picks up the keyword Fiverr and challenge probably and shows up the best performing videos first. But if I add S at the end and turn it into 7 days instead of 7 day, we can see that this pretty much doesn't change the results because this is not what matters for the YouTube algorithm. But Fiverr is actually different and I had to learn that the hard way. Currently we have around 2000 services available for these keywords. But if I remove the S at the end of YouTube video editors, we can see the giant difference. And also I'm not sure if you noticed but the results are also different. If I quickly put back the S at the end, you can see that it gives me completely different results. And you can see that this exact keyword is in these people's titles. So when you search for YouTube video editors plural, you actually won't get any results singular. So this is a clear proof that making a small change like this will put you in a much smaller pocket of sellers and it will increase your chances to find success 35 times for this specific example. Because people who got these keywords singular in their title won't show up when it's being searched plural. And I found this very hard by spending hours of research like I said, but bear in mind that when you find low competition keywords, you gotta make sure there's enough demand for it. Otherwise you won't make any sales even if you rank on the first page for that keyword. And we can validate the demand by looking at the sellers who rank for that keyword and more specifically their reviews. If there are only a few sellers with a couple of reviews and most of the sellers have no reviews and that's on the first page, that's probably a bad keyword as there is no demand for it. As you can see, the sellers who rank for this keyword have a bunch of reviews, there is also a Fiverr's Choice seller with more than 500 reviews and multiple sellers with hundreds of reviews. So the demand is definitely there and high demand with low competition is always equal to opportunity. And this keyword is just your base now. If I go further down into the rabbit hole and put best YouTube video editors, you can see that this keyword now has only 700 services available. So YouTube video editor singular got 77,000 services and now we end up with only 700 with a few adjustments on the keyword. But like I said, you gotta make sure there's enough demand for the keyword and as you can see, the results don't look too convincing. That's why I did not actually choose to rank for this keyword for my gig, but I actually end up with professional YouTube video editors which has more services available 
available than best YouTube video editors, but the results just look so much alive. There are many more sellers with a bunch of reviews and it's always a good practice to open up these gigs and see if they have orders in queue. So that's gonna tell you if the demand is currently there. Because sometimes you might find a keyword that was trending at a certain time and there was a lot of demand, but now barely anyone is interested and people are just not looking for this service anymore. So you have to keep your eyes open for that as well. Unfortunately, this video is getting way too long and I don't want to overextend it, so I have to wrap it up here. And I have a few other things that I wanted to mention in this video that I think will be very helpful if you are just getting started and you haven't get your first order on Fiverr yet. But I believe these were the main things that affected my performance and that will affect yours as well. I have a lot more tips for you that I haven't seen literally anyone to talk about here on YouTube. And in my next video, I'll try to make like the best 10 tips to get orders on Fiverr or something like that, where I will share so much value in one video that is just insane that I will do it for free. But of course, I'll do it for you guys. To be honest, I wanted to share a lot more in this video so I can help you out with your Fiverr game. But this video turned more into a storytelling type of video where I share my whole journey down the best tips and tricks to get orders. But anyway, at least you know what I've been through and everything I share is first-hand stuff and I found the real solutions for the problems I was facing. So I'm not just gonna repeat what everybody is saying on YouTube and doesn't provide you any value whatsoever. So if you like the content, please give a gentle tap to the like button. This will really help to push my video to more people. And if you don't want to miss the next value bombs that are coming, and I promise you, you don't want to miss that, subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. You can also watch my last video that popped up on the screen where I also share some interesting stuff to get orders on Fiverr. So I'll see you there.